Water is the essence of life, and we naturally associate it with purity and cleanliness. We rarely think of tap water as harmful, but in the healthcare setting, water can be the carrier of morbidity and mortality. Many different bacteria, fungi, and parasites can be found in tap water. Originating at the municipal water supply or local aquifer, hospital water containing low levels of microbes is diverted to hot and cold water supply systems. Although different types of free-floating microbes may predominate in hot and cold water, they have the common ability to anchor themselves to internal pipe surfaces, faucets, and shower heads. Once they irreversibly attach to an internal plumbing surface, they multiply and produce a sticky extracellular matrix. This highly organized and well-characterized aggregate of numerous types of microbes that flourish within the matrix is called a biofilm. As microbes within a biofilm multiply and the biofilm enlarges, the shearing forces of flowing water break off microbe-containing fragments and transport them to distant locations in the water distribution system through processes known as seed dispersal, streaming, detaching, rolling, and rippling. In this way, biofilm serves as a repository for the sustained release of bacteria into flowing water. In order to eradicate waterborne microbes, water systems are periodically disinfected, either chemically or with extremely hot water. Although these methods may achieve a measure of short-term success, that success rarely extends to the long term because these methods cannot access and destroy every biofilm community, nor are they sufficient to cope with occasional bursts of elevated microbial levels in incoming water. Also, in complex plumbing systems, Improper design or facility renovations result in dead ends, where water stagnates and disinfectants cannot attain adequate concentrations to eradicate biofilm. Biofilm in plumbing dead-end regions constantly seed the formation of new biofilm communities elsewhere in the plumbing system. Patients with weakened immune systems are particularly vulnerable to direct contact with pathogens in contaminated water, whether it be in the form of a liquid stream, an inhaled aerosol, the ice in a beverage, contact with a staff person who has just washed her hands, or with a reprocessed medical device that has been rinsed with water. When water enters the hospital room environment from a faucet or shower, tiny water droplets containing biofilm contaminants separate from the main water stream and are spread by air currents in all directions. Some are then inhaled as aerosols, while others condense onto surfaces where they can be transferred to patients and staff through touch contamination. Although these aerosols may not pose a threat to a healthy individual, they can very seriously affect the health of an immunocompromised patient. 